Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a video about um, training a zebra finch. God, just got to lock the door real quick. All good. Okay, so I have two zebra finches. This is my, my female. It's a little small one. They are pretty, mine is pretty calm. But, um, they are really small birds. They like to fly, so, um, just gonna show you real quick how to tame these buggers. So, first thing. Shit. So what you want to do is once you catch them, you just want to kind of see if it's chill. So when you first get it from the pet shop, you're gonna to want to like, you're gonna to want to um, if they if they ever get hot, that means they're pretty stressed. So that means you want to put them in the AC. But mine is pretty chill for a finch. My sister's one is not. Where is it? There you are. I'm sorry, guys. Just a little sidetrack. Is it one for you? There. These can be little pains in the butt. Sorry about that. Oh. On. I have to sit down every time I do this. Like I was saying, you just want to kind of let them go in your hand. And I'll show you how to tell if they're female or male. If they have that... If they have like the orange beak, that means they're female. And if they have the line that goes down, that means they're female. Even if there's like a... But if... um, See how he doesn't have any white dots? Well, yeah. Well, brown dots. Yeah. That means it's a female. But the other one, my sister's one, Randall, um, he's brown and he has a cheek. If they ever have that little cheek circle, that means a male. Even if they have that little line that goes down, they still have that little circle, that still means they're a male. So, yeah. And they'll have white dots right there. But, yeah, they're really tiny birds. You might be able to hear that. That's the other finch that's going off. But how to tame it. You're going to want to put the cage somewhere that you spend a lot of time in. You're going to do a choice. Music or no music to get it used to the volume level. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to just kind of stroke your finger down the cage and talk to it. Then once you've done that, you want to get it out. If it flies around, it's fine. You want the easy way of it to step up. Get a couple of sheets of paper, like so it stays sturdy. 
go up to it, put it against its feet until it steps up. And just keep repeating that pro process until it gets used to it. Then try it with your finger. If it gets chill, you can grab them. But I'll show you what happens sometimes. So, they get so stressed that if you grab them, they can get pretty worn out. This one particularly can lay on its back. Not whining. It can shut up. But yeah, these are really small birds. This one's really fat. If you take it for a shower, it'll... It doesn't have anything to do with this, but... So yeah, get it out, then you should try to grab it. Oh God, no, Rachel, no. Not where you should go, no. So then after that, do you wanna, um... See that? Yeah, these, see how it has its mouth open? That means these birds can pant. But mine, it came chill, pretty chill. So I can take it to my dad's and all that, but. There's one type that you can't put finches in with another finch. And that is sparrow finches. Cause those will attack other finches. Cause they're like big and they have the mouth of beak they will attack. You can only mix them with their own kind. Otherwise, like, you can mix zebra finches with anything, just not sparrow finches. Like, yep, mine's fine with my budgies and the cockatiel. But, um, mix those with sparrow finches, they're pretty much, they're gonna get pretty hurt. So, yeah. You don't wanna mix these guys with the wrong... Oh, you just take a runny shadow on my chair. But yeah, you don't wanna, um, put those guys... End of sparrow finches. So, yeah. Fuck. Well, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll try to cut that. Um, but, yeah, so once you get it out, just hold it, let it sit in your hand, and just see if it flies. So, yeah, that's the video. Like and subscribe. See ya.